guys, what is up? It's Ness Ribs here, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. It's my everyday, my go-to, my somewhat natural, not really look. Um, like I said, I wear this every day, I wear it to work. I wear it if I'm just going to the mall, if I'm going out. I generally stick to this when I want something more not glam, you know? So yeah, if you want to see how to get this and this killer highlight, make sure you keep watching, okay? Alright, so first things first, I'm going to be using my NYX pore filler just to fill in the pores, you know, make it nice and smooth. So now I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in color 5 and a small brush and I'm just going to put a little bit on it if it'll come out Oop. and I'm just going to put these all over any blemishes just to kind of hide them now I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation and mixing it with the NYX Stay Matte on a foundation brush and we're just going to stipple it around and no. But. Okay, so now that it's on the brush, what I like to do is I just like to kind of splatter it, I guess, everywhere first, and then I blend it out. So make sure you get under here so you look like one color, not two. So now going back in with the Makeup Forever full coverage. Concealer. We're just gonna conceal underneath. So I know most people like put it on a brush and brush it out, whatever. I kind of just put blobs on my face where I need to highlight and or conceal. And then I go in and we conceal. So now that we have concealed our life, I'm going to be taking the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder in a beauty blender and I am just going, oops, I'm going to put this underneath your eyes, right where you conceal. You can go to town with this. I mean, you can put as much as you want, as little as you want. You just want to be a sugary cookie. And what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to uh, bake right along the contour line even though we didn't do any significant contouring we're just gonna bake it anyways we're gonna lighten it up when we do add our bronzer we're now in the oven officially baking so while we wait now that our eyebrows are covered in foundation let's do them so for eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Brow Precise Shaping Pencil in the color Deep Brown. So first we're going to sharpen the bad boy because it's looking a little dull. So what I tend to do is I will brush out my brows into the general shape of what I want it to look like. And then I take the precise pointy end. I'm gonna get a little close to this one. And I will. Is that the door I think the door Okay, we're back. It was just someone coming toward the door. Anyway, back to where we were. So, what I do is I go in. It's really dark. And kind of giving it the point and shape that I want. Uh, sometimes I'll also use like the angled brush but I feel like when I do this I get a really intense dark color that I want. It's not faded and I'm also able to make the shapes that I want. When I use the angled brush I feel like it gets like faded and fuzzy. I don't know if that makes any sense. 
but I know what I'm talking about. And then I will just take this side and kind of brush it out and spread out the color. are colored in I'm going to be taking the NYX control freak eyebrow gel and just applying this onto the brow just to keep all the hairs in place and now we're going to clean up the brows using the makeup forever concealer and the little brush we're just going to take a little bit and line it up again. Okay, the eyebrows are on fleek. They are on fleek. So, let's get to the eyes. So to prime the eyes, I'm using the NYX HD Definition Eyeshadow Base, and we are just going to apply that all over the eye, and then just blend it out with your finger. For the base color, I'm going to be taking my Carly Bible palette, and in the light pink, nude, white shade, whatever you want to call it, and put that all over my brush. And this is going to go right underneath our brows, onto the brow bone. And then for the eyelid, I'm going to be taking this NYX eyeshadow in the color Naked Truth. Wow! And using the same brush, just apply that all over your lid and the rest of the eye. So now for our transition shade, I'm going to be taking this light brown shade in the Carly Bible palette, the center one on the top, and I'm just going to be putting that in the outer corner and just along the crease, just to give us like a light, neutral, natural crease, a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna bring that all the way into the inner corner and just blend it out because we don't want it to look too choppy. Just go to town. It's gonna look like you don't have much on, but that's okay because this is just the beginning. And this is our transition shade because we're going into more colors. Just kidding, we're only going into another round. So now I am going to be taking the darker brown, yeah, darker brown shade right beside it, right here. And I'm going to just put a little bit on the brush, tap it out. And this again is going to go on the outer corner and into our crease. Now we want this one to be darker. So we show definition within the crease. You just want to blend. You really want it to just look like it's there, not like you put half an hour into it, you know? So now I'm taking the brush that I used in the first brown in our transition shade, no extra product, and we're just going to go in. Okay. So my camera's messed and just stopped recording automatically. I don't know the last thing I said, but you're just gonna go in with the first brush and just blend out, go to town, have a blend party. You just keep going until you're satisfied with your blend. Uh, so now I am going to take the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. 
I'm going to mix the two colors strange and dust and we're just going to slightly highlight right underneath our brow on the brow bone. We do want to look fabulous at all times and to look fabulous highlighting is the key. And then finally we are going to go back with the NYX Naked Truth color and re-go over the center part because we want it to look somewhat smoky eye crease-ish. We don't just want to have a dark lid. So now we are going to line our eyes. The most dreadful thing of the entire makeup process, let me tell you. Okay, so I can't find tape to put it on to make a straight wing. Um, so we're gonna use sticky notes because that's all I can find right now. And I gotta go to work. So shake it up. Um the eyeliner I am using is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in black. Comes in this little whatever. Oh, I got it in my eye. Ah it's in my eye. <laughs> Alright, so now that our eyes are generally done, except for the lashes, um, let's brush off this bake. You just want to take a fluffy brush. What is this on my face? What is this? What is this? Fluffy brush on this. Fluff it all off. Yeah. Now I am going to take the Hula Bronzer from, by Benefit and we are going to bronze up and lightly contour with the bronzer. So now for blush, I'm going to take the Too Faced blush in Perfect Flush Blush just apply it on the apples of your cheeks and along the rest of it so it blends out with the bronzer. I have this spot on my face that doesn't like to pick up anything. It's right there. Actually this whole area generally like doesn't like to pick up anything. So I look like a splotchy mess. But what can you do? Okay, so next for highlighter, I'm going to be taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Protect Protector. Perfector. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that where I want to highlight. And then just blend it out with my finger a little bit. So this is kind of acts as a primer for the highlight. So before it dries, I'm going to take my highlighter brush that I got in my Ipsy bag and I'm going to be taking Becca in the color Opal and mixing it with the highlighters from the Carly Bible palette. So I'm going to be taking the first one, maybe the set, maybe the first two and then Becca. Let's dab on a little bit. I feel like Opal is like too goldy, champagne-y for my face so I have to mix it with this light one. And then I get the perfect highlight color. Oof. Kill it. Just brush that. Look at that highlight. Oh! Brush it out. It's a little bit too intense for you. You just, again, slightly blend it out with your fingers. And I do the other side. Highlight is to die for, it can kill someone. Alright, so for the tip of my nose, I'm just going to take the light color, the Carly Bible palette, and just use a little. It also has all the other colors from before mixed into the brush, so you kind of get a little bit of everything. 
put it on your forehead a little bit down below. I like to put it on my chin and also on my cupid's bow. I just brush it on and it picks it up. Now we're highlighted and we're fabulous. So I'm going to be using the Rocket by Maybelline. And we just I honestly have to leave for work in <laughs> two minutes. Great. That's not happening. Uh, so it looks like I'm gonna have to take a cup. I haven't even eaten lunch yet. I have to pack dinner. Today's just a mess, honestly. So now that our eyelashes are done, the final step is to highlight our inner corner. So I'm going to be taking this sparkly pink shade right here in the Carly Bible palette. All right, so for lips, I'm going to be taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color London. All right, and on top, I'm going to be using this Be A Bombshell uh, lip gloss in the color Secret. I got this in my Ipsy bag as well, so. Oh yeah. So now that our face is fully applied, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, which I absolutely love for, and just mm, put it all over your face. Don't eat it though, it tastes really bad. You just wanna soak yourself in it. Alright, so yes, this is the finished look. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you press the subscribe button. Also, leave down below in the comments what you want to see next. If you have any questions, if you want to talk, if you want to be my friend, just let me know. We can make it happen. Alright? So, until next time, later YouTube!